What's going on everybody and welcome back to TechCube and today we are going to be taking a look at five alternatives to VirtualBox. So basically VirtualBox, I think pretty much everyone knows what that is at this point. It lets you uh, do virtualization and run other operating systems on top of your current operating system. Well, vir VirtualBox is no hidden secret that it is not the best virtualization software. It is pretty simple to set up and it's free and it has some pretty good features to it. That's about all it has going for it. Now I'm not hating on VirtualBox, I think it is a great virtual machine um, program. However, I think that there are also some great alternatives to VirtualBox and that's what we're going to be going over today. So basically I got five great pieces of software in my opinion that will do a great job at running virtual machines. Um, this is also going to be the start of a series where I take a look at the different pieces of virtualization software. Um, we're going to be going over five uh, pieces of software that I'm going to be going over in the future in their own separate in-depth videos. Um, I may add on to it in the future in case I find like a new program I want to test out and put out on the channel. Um, there will also be more videos about that as well. Uh, but yeah, no, so basically we're going to be taking a look at five, in my opinion, pretty good pieces of software that let uh, you run virtual machines and do virtualization that are basic alternatives to VirtualBox. So basically, the first one that we're going to be taking a look at here is VMware Workstation Pro. Now, VMware Workstation Pro is a really good, really advanced piece of software. To be honest, it has a lot of features that most people really don't need and really won't get much use out of. It's very good for business situations where you need a very complex piece of software that runs really well. Um, but basically, it's a great piece of software. Um, it lets you use on Windows and Mac and Linux, and it's just a great piece of software in my opinion. Um, so yeah, no, this is like definitely the most high-end piece of software I'll be taking a look at today. Uh, the next piece of software I'll be taking a look at is VMware Workstation Player. Now Workstation Player of course is also made by VMware but basically Workstation Player is Workstation Pro but more simple, more stripped down version that's free and it basically it includes most of the features that most people will want to use in a you know a virtual machine environment like with you know basically simple features you know doing things like that like you set up drives and things like that uh, this is a great simple piece of software for any beginner or anyone who wants an alternative to VirtualBox in fact in a lot of ways this operating this uh, program could be a uh, very better than VirtualBox so yeah no I've seen arguments for both however We'll be taking a look at this, of course, and I think that'll be a pretty interesting video because this is arguably the biggest competitor to a virtual box. Okay, so the next piece of software we'll be taking a look at is a, something called Parallels. Now, Parallels is, I mean, it's an all right piece of software. Um, this is more for Mac and running Windows on top of Mac. However, there are also versions for it um, for Windows. Um, but yeah, no, this is definitely more of a Mac thing that you can use to run Windows. But there's definitely um, versions out there for Windows as well that let you do, like, run other operating systems on top of that. Um, but I think this may be one of the better options if you are using a Mac. Um, you do get more out of it if you are using a Mac, though. Um, this is also, like, type of a, a freemium thing where you can go out and get a free trial, uh, but it is also paid as well. So just keep that in mind if you ever do decide to take a look at this, that um, it definitely is you know free on the surface, um, but you definitely may have to pay for it. Um, I mean, even since you're on the website, uh, download free trial, so yeah, no, this is definitely the type of thing where it's free, but you know it lures you in and makes you pay. Um, all right, so the next piece of software I'll be taking a look at today is called KVM. Now KVM, is more of the outside of the box pick here to be honest um now this is for um kernel based virtual machines it's a for a full virtualization solution for linux on x86 hardware um containing like virtual extensions like intel vt or amd v um you know this is that type of thing where it's more of a linux thing and it's a very simple you know more of an open source type of thing um, but yeah, no, this is definitely probably the biggest, uh, maybe not outside the box, um, because I said it was outside the box, however, I think the next piece of software that we're going to take a look at is more of the outside the box pick. 
Um, but this is definitely more of your Linux kernel type of thing that um, is great for Linux. And definitely, if your main virtualization intentions are to do Linux, this is definitely worth taking a look at, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, no. Um, so maybe not the most outside the box pick. But our final piece of software today is probably our most outside the box pick, and that is Quimu. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But basically, this is a free open source um, virtual machine emulator, and well, well, it says it on the website. Basically, what it is. Um, but I think this is a pretty good. Um, piece of software that you can use for virtualization. There's not a whole lot to say about it. It just, it has a goal, which is to do virtualization and it does it well. Um, definitely an outside the box pick. There is definitely more of a learning curve to this, at least from what I've heard. Um, again, we'll be evaluating that when I do take a look at this in a separate video. Um, yeah, no, this is probably more of the outside the box pick than KVM. Again, KVM is good, but still, this is probably more of your outside the box pick. Um, but yeah, no, so this is just a, gen a generic open source machine emulator and virtualizer, as it says on their website. Um, yeah, no, this is, of course, definitely ta worth taking a look at, since you can do a lot of this as well. Um, again, more of a learning curve, more advanced type of software, um, whereas you have more like for, uh, work VMware Workstation Player, which is more of your um, introduction to virtual machines type of thing. Um, but yeah, no, this is definitely worth taking a look at if you are more advanced in running virtual machines. And of course, we will be taking a look at this in another video. And we'll be really seeing um, if it is your more, you know, advanced type of virtual machine emulator. Because most of these pieces of software I have not tested out myself. I've done a lot of research on all of these. However, I haven't tested most of these out myself, mainly because when I do test them out, I want my reactions to be authentic. Uh, but yeah, no, again, we'll definitely be taking a look at all these future videos. I'm definitely looking forward to that. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a comment um, as well as leave a comment if you have any other pieces of software you do want me to take a look at for virtual machines. Um, but yeah, no, so that is pretty much it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Tech Cubed, over and out.